since this will be the final lesson of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to adjust our light planes, or our, I'm sorry, our light plane emitters for independent fader controls so that we can actually optimize our light. Now, when our render first came out, it pretty much looked more like, I'm going to go ahead and just move these real quick to where they come out by default which is there by default and as you can see up here in the right hand corner that's a pretty dark image um, and it usually comes out at 100 and that's a pretty dark image that we would typically get but if we just go ahead and start adjusting our light faders here our image will actually change so I'm going to go ahead and bring this image into our render view here and as you can see it's pretty dark there so now I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust these while I watch up here in the right hand corner and as you can see the lights are actually gonna change here bring in the highlights for the car on the hood and on pretty much the door in the wheel well go ahead and brighten it a little bit Go ahead and bring in a little bit of yellow overall and turn the overall brightness up to something like that. Go ahead and turn this one down a little bit more and then we'll go up just a little bit more. Turn the yellow down. I'm sorry, that's the headlight. Turn the yellow down. And then just go ahead and move our light fader control back down move our tone mapping control and this back over and go ahead and sync our image to bring it back in and then as you can see we get a, a render like that now the orange car paint chair that you see here was actually downloaded from FryRender.com or RandomControl.com and it was actually made by Kadelka here and this is an excellent color paint shader as well as these other ones that are actually made by I may pronounce it wrong by Shelpion and I mean all of these materials are really really good materials for your cars and all you have to do is just simply download it put it into your library and then you can go ahead and use it and now to go ahead and save my image all I would do is just hit our stop button and then you can either choose to save as your 8 mapped or I'm sorry your 8 bit tone mapped image which is you know JPEG, PNG or BMP, TIFF, Targa or you could save it as an HDRI or an, an even a 16 bit image but for now I'm just going to go ahead and keep this rendering and I just wanted to go ahead and show you the light control faders to pretty much end this lesson. Um, a big thank you is going to have to go out here to Ewan Loison for allowing me to create this tutorial and Kadelka for putting the cart paint shader up for download. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks a lot for watching.